Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning, and the birds are out just chirping all over the place, and they're enjoying themselves, and I'm out here going to enjoy myself. And I hope everyone else enjoys theirself while we have coffee together. <laughs> it's coffee time. So, I'm out here. Well, let me have a sip of it. I've done had some, but I'm going to have some more. You hear my birds talking to me? I've done fed them. But they're sitting up there on the wire just singing and enjoying their life like everybody ought to be doing. We ought to enjoy our life because we got one life. And we ought to be happy if we can, but sometimes we can't. But don't let the devil take your joy because that's a God-given thing. He gives you joy and he wants you to enjoy your life as much as you can. And that's what I'm going to do. Even when you're down, if you give the Lord time, he will pick you up and lift you up higher than you ever believed that you could be. I'm living proof of that. So I know, take my word. <laughs> but sometimes you don't know, you know, you feel like he may have forgotten you, but he hasn't. He's, he does things in his own time. The best way is his way. So we're gonna let him have his way and do his will. And thank him for his blessings, even if we don't think we're having any right then, we will be having them. <laughs> thank y'all so much for being out here and enjoying life and watching the birds and listening to them. They, they have a beautiful song they sing to me, and I love it. And I'm, oh, I'm out here this morning going to do a project. I want to tell y'all all about it in a minute. Okay, I have a, I have a pot here that is broken. It was given, it was given to me by a family member and it's old. I don't know how old it is. But it has been in the family a long, long time. And it's been sitting around and uh, the lady finally got it out the other day and, and gave it to me. We went to a senior dinner and she went and got this pot out and it's broken. It's, it's got broken places on it if you can see it and I I told her she wanted me to break it and use these I can't hardly talk over them birds <laughs> but that's okay I'll do it uh, she wanted me to break it and put it in another pot like use the tiles you know to make another pot but I just think that is this is a beautiful pot in itself. I, I've never, I, I don't think I've ever seen one like it. And I was looking at it a little while ago, and it has on it, and I know this can't be the date, but the lady that gave it, gave it to me was like, is like about 85 years old, and this belonged to her mother. And I don't know where she got it, but it has, 1644 MCOY USA on it. I'm going to bring it in close so y'all can see that. I don't know what that means, but that's what it says. It's, it's, uh, and what I am thinking about doing is trying to fix it. It won't be have the same finish on it, but I want to fix this pot. I don't want to break it. I, I want 
I want to keep it as close to the way it it looks as I can. Let me see where this piece goes. I know it's old. It is old. I don't know how old, but I know it's old. This piece, this piece goes right here. I can put that together and add some to this and create this one over here if I can. Uh, to kind of look like this one, I'm going to try it. Because just because something's real old don't mean you throw it away. <laughs> you try to fix it and keep it because old things a lot of time is better than new things. They made better and and it's just beautiful. I love it. And I can't bear to break it apart and tear it up. I, I want to fix it. And that's what I'm out here going to try to do is fix this pot. I just, just, I can't bear to break it apart. It's already broken, but I think I can fix it. And I think, I just want to fix it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do that. So, uh, I'm going to get around here. Uh-oh, I may break it some more. I don't want to do that. But it's just beautiful. Look at it. You can see how it's sort of going to look from the sides there. Uh, it's got little things on it where you can plant something. And that's the inside of it. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix this little, little pot and see if I can do that. <laughs> I've never done this before because... The situation has never come up. I've only been doing this like two years uh, making cement things. And so I've just, and i never done it before in my life. So I've learned everything I, I'm doing in that time. You know, I, I've, I've not been taught anything. I've just, I've just picked it up and started doing it. So. I'm going to get around here now and mix up my cement and get started and see if I can do something with it. Thank y'all so, so much for watching this video and being my YouTube family. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. It's just so... such a blessing to have all my subscribers and all my viewers that just uplifts me all the time and I'm, I'm just I, I can't say thank you enough to to everyone for all the things uh, has been done for me and sent me and I, I'm just so blessed and thankful and I've got so many things I want to make and so many things I want to do, there's not enough time to do it. <laughs> I'm trying to do what I can, but, you know, I have to uh, do other things, and I can't do this all the time, but I would love to. I would love for somebody to clean up my house and <laughs> do all that other stuff and just let me do this and not do nothing else. But I don't have nobody to do that, so I have to do some of it. And, do this too so y'all have a blessed blessed day subscribe and share and click the little bell so you can be notified when i make another video and let's let, let me get oh oh i got to get my cement let me get my bag Oh, here it is, <laughs> my Portland cement bag. This is what I use on my projects and that I make Portland cement. It's 
wonderful cement. I love it. It's fine and you can mix it up and just have the smoothest mixture you ever seen to put on something. That's what I'm going to put on this pot. So, And I mix it with uh, Georgia sand, which is sand off of my road that I go up there and scoop up with a little shovel, bring it down here in a bucket, and I strain it and get all the rocks out. And I mix it up and I have I have my cement mix that I use and I put water with it and that's what I make my projects out of so let's get started doing that I think I'm talking too much <laughs> but anyway I have sometimes I have a lot to say thank y'all again thank you all right I'm gonna get get my cement and start mixing up my cement right now see y'all in a minute let me get another sip of coffee. I hope everyone else is having their coffee too because people tell me they're having coffee with me and that's so sweet. I love it. Oh, I see a squirrel going up a tree out there. I'm putting four cups of Portland cement. I'm not making up a big bunch to, because this pot is small and I'm not going to need much and I'm going to use this old bowl here because I don't want to put it in that big old uh, pan that I usually use. Alright, this is four cups of Georgia sand. Four more cups is eight. I put four cups of Portland cement and eight cups of sand. I hope this is going to be enough to make to cover this pot if it don't I'll just have to make some more okay I'm going to put the water in now I don't want it real thin I want it thick enough that it'll stick. It's not enough. I can tell already. Still needs a little more water. You don't want to add too much because it'll get thin too, very fast. Just have to add it a little along. think that's what I want. This kind of thick, but that's what I want. I want it thick. Okay. Now let me get over here and see what I'm going to do with this pot. This is the first time I've ever done this before. Oh, I know what else I forgot. My turntable.
I'm not going I'm not going to cover the bottom of this because I don't want that name and that date that's on it to be gone. I don't know if I'm going to be, if it's going to stick to this. Papers too big. I wish I could do it and keep the, <laughs> the original look, but I can't because I've got to put cement on it to stick this other together. get my scissors because I don't need this much plastic. Got some scotch tape. I was going to try to tape it where it'll st st stick where I'm trying to put it. It won't show, but it'll kind of hold it if it'll stick. Oh, it's sticking to my glove. <laughs> Gloves and tape don't go together too good. I'm trying to <laughs> let y'all see what I'm doing. It's hard to get around here and do what I got to do on the in the front and let y'all see it. This part right here <laughs> is uh, the part I don't know I guess I can fix it but I don't I'm not sure I'm gonna try my best it doesn't have anything you know up here it's just all and I got to fill in that little gap but the birds are happy today So it's a happy day for the birds and man. I hope I hope she don't mind that it's not gonna be the uh, same outside. But you know it's broken and that's I couldn't do nothing about that part because I can't. Uh, I can't make this color and this 
type of thing. I don't mean to not let y'all see, but I forget that I'm doing something and y'all need to see what I'm doing, but I get to thinking about it and doing it and forget about y'all. <laughs> How could I do that, y'all? <laughs> something around in there that would hold it out and this is the one that was that I stuck back on there that one I got to figure that one out a little more. I'm thinking maybe if I get a piece of cardboard and lay it in there, maybe I can. But I'm I'm gonna see. I don't know what. I I'm just thinking about. You have to figure stuff out sometimes and try to make something work I keep looking up there to check and see if it's on or off because it can cut off and I won't even know it right then This is the one that was broke a little bit right there. I about got it filled in. Y'all, <laughs> some people some people can't believe that I don't take any medicine at all. I don't, I don't have no medical problems whatsoever. And I am so blessed to be a, well, I'll be 81 in March and have good health. I don't say I won't get sick or anything because if you say it, you might get sick. <laughs> but anyway, nothing that uh, a little bit of rest won't help. Uh, I don't have back trouble. I don't have high blood pressure trouble. I don't have heart trouble. I don't have depression trouble. I'm... I have gone through things, you know, that would kind of upset you, but that's not anything uh, that you take medicine for, not in my opinion. But to be healthy and uh, in good shape, I, I know a lot of people that are younger than me and a lot more worse condition than me I I mean I think I think a person that's 80 well I'll be 81 in March that doesn't have any kind of blood pressure medicine or heart trouble or 
diabetes trouble or and I eat anything I want nothing hurts me to eat I just enjoy life try to be happy even though people try to steal your joy sometimes the Lord can give you joy that uh, it is like no other you just wait on him and he will look after you and give you what you need might not be what you want all the time but he sure gives me what I want what I need I, I don't really want anything much I, I'm just I'm just happy to be where I am and with a, a home and a new roof <laughs> thanks for to everyone that helped me get it and my grandson's here with me to uh, help me with some things that I, I guess I might could do some of them by myself but he doesn't have anywhere else to go and I'm happy to have him with me because he's had a hard life he uh, people don't deserve to be in a situation like a lot of uh, people are in because of situations in their life that beyond their control when you're a child, you expect people to look after you and do the best for you they can. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes you... There's a lot of young people that don't have homes and don't have a good bed to sleep in. And I'm so proud of him that he's trying to get ahead in life and going to school because he had to drop out because he, his home life was not suitable at all. And he, he had to have, he needed money to live he was living with some people that took him in. I wasn't even aware of all of that at then. But anyway, he's not having to live like that anymore. I pray for the people that do. They they are homeless people and they're uh, I pray for homeless people that don't have a home to go to. Sometimes your lifestyle will put you in that situation. Sometimes it's not your choice. I've never been without a home, but, you know, I could have been. I mean, I could have lost my home to greedy people, but it didn't happen. They're evil people in this world that don't mind destroying your life if they can you can't give up you have to keep going keep trying and try to do the best you can and ask the Lord to help you and he he most certainly will help you might not be what you think at the time, but his time is always on time. He's never late. 
can't say that about everybody. <laughs> Everybody's not on time, but he is. And it's never too late to get out and start things and try to do what makes you happy. And help other people as you go. Just gonna sort of get it blocked in and up on there and then I'm gonna go over it and uh, smooth it out and do do some things to it that needs done but I'm just trying to keep it together right now and Y'all remember uh, last week, a family member uh, gave me this pot and wanted me to break it and use the parts of it like tiles on another pot. And it was such a beautiful shaped pot that I couldn't bear to break it. So, and it was old. I, I left the bottom of it like you can see what's on it but the, but I fixed it I fixed all the places on it and I think it's absolutely beautiful and a sweet sweet lady made it possible for me to have some little tiles they're like this oh let me get some more they're they're like little things like this and I've taken all the green and blues out and chopped them up in little pieces like <laughs> like this little tiny squares and I'm going put them on I'm going to put them here all around and decorate this pot with these little pieces and I think it's going to be beautiful and this is what I've been doing <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of them cracked up little squares and I use this thing someone sent me this little thing and it does great all you do is put your little tile on there and crack it together and it makes two pieces. Then I make two, uh, four pieces. So, so they'll fit on that. I, and it makes them, can you see? <laughs> They're little square pieces. I think they're going, I think, there they are, I'm going to let you see if I can. 
all the little pieces. I'm going to put them on this pot and see if I can make it more beautiful. I think it will. I'm going to put it up here. All the different uh, colors and stuff, you, you put them up there. Set here and cut these little pieces out. So when I get ready to use them, I can put them on there. I don't want to, I want to cut them all out first and then stick them on here so it won't take so long. I didn't. I've got some more little snips that's not like this, but this, these are great. Oh, I love them. And, and I want to tell y'all. I have been in contact with some people that uh, lives in Wisconsin, and and it's older ladies that were friends when they were young, and they have gotten together and opened up a ceramic shop I think that is awesome that people get get together after they get older and 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 do something enjoyable I think that is awesome I'm going to put I'm going to put her link up on my page so people can look it up it's it it is the old hen house glass and craft shop and I, I would like for everyone to go uh, and look at that uh, website and it's just awesome that people get together after they have done lived most of their life and do things together in something enjoyable like that it's just awesome and I, I'm, I'm gonna put the link up there on my page and if I can get my grandson to help me I don't, I'm not all that up on all that stuff, but he, he can help me. He's, he's off doing his uh, schooling thing now. He's trying to get his GED, and I'm so proud of him that he's trying to help himself and get better, get his life going a lot better than it has in the years before. He, he didn't, it wasn't that great, his life, and, but he has a home here, and he, he loves it. He stays here with me, and he's, we eat pizza, and we eat, uh, whatever we like, <laughs> but I'm just, He loves fish, and, and we go get a fish dinner ever so often, and I just, I just hope him the best that he can be when I'm not around to help him. Everyone deserves a good, a pretty good life, you know, and you have to help yourself sometimes. You can't help yourself when you're young and you have no means, but and when you get old enough uh, to get out there and try to help yourself. You know, this, this is fun. 
and I, mu I very much enjoy it. But it, it's, it's not as, it, it's a little strenuous, you know, sometimes whenever you you have a lot to do and you have to get all your things out to uh, work with and then you have to put all your things back up and you have to wash them and you have to, uh, things like that, you can't leave your, uh, your, your things you use like your pans and your uh, little shovels you have to get the cement off or or they will uh it will stay on there won't come off so you have to clean it off and clean it up and i'm so thankful that i'm able to do all that and this is what i like to do i like to I like to do things outside. I, I mean, I'm I'm out here right now. I could be doing this in the house, I guess, but I just love outdoors. And when I can do something outdoors, I I, I will go out and do it. <laughs> and sometimes I just go out and and just sit and look and think and thank the Lord for all that He's done for me. Our church has a, a prayer service on Tuesday night. And we pray for people that have needs and needs prayer. We, we pray individual. Uh, we all uh, talk about our, our needs and uh, wants and what, whatever. And then we pray over, we pray about people that uh, are in need or things like that. We, we lift them up in prayer. My birds are happy. I'm happy they're happy. <laughs> putting them on here and see see where it, how it turns out so I mean I've got some beautiful colors in this bag beautiful I'm gonna start right here I'm gonna pour I'm out here so I can pick the ones I want to pick. Okay, I've got my camera cut off, but I got through with this little uh, place. Now I'm going to work on this one. Okay, I'm going to cut it off right now and continue to work on it. Because it's very time consuming and I, I don't want to uh, take up all that much time. Uh, and I see my batteries flashing red up there, so I'm going to have to cut it off. And I'll work on it some while while the battery's charging, and maybe maybe it won't uh, be too long.
I'm working on the, I'm still working on the, putting the little uh, tiles on there. I'm using hot glue to, because the glue I was using wasn't holding when it's sitting like this. It, it would have probably held if I had been laying it down, but uh, I'm just putting hot glue on it. I'm kind of new at this and don't exactly know what I'm doing all together. But I think it'll work. This is kind of slow. <laughs> I may not get this done today. I may have to work on it some more later because it is slow going. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm still working on this pot. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's a lot of little things to have to put on here. And I'm about to run out. I was on here a little earlier I had a visitor chickens again <laughs> y'all know hot glue is hot <laughs> oh it's so hot it'll burn your fingers get it covered I think that's beautiful Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Hello, I'm Helen, and I'm out here uh, showing you my finished project that I finished. Uh, I, you remember what happened. I, got, I, I was given this pot because it was broken, and I fixed it. I put cement on it, and I, I painted it black, and then I put these little ceramic pieces on here one by one and <laughs> it was a job I really wasn't prepared I don't think for what I was doing because I've not I made that little ball around there and it was a job too but this was it was it was a very trying little uh, <laughs> project 
But this is it, and it's beautiful, and I'm proud of it. And maybe the next one I'll do, I'll be more prepared for uh, what I got to do and than I was this time. Thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. Have a blessed, blessed day. Subscribe and share and be kind to each other. And thank the Lord for His blessings each day because we have blessings. We might, We may not know it. But we do have blessings every day, and I thank the Lord for them myself. See y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.